This is a very important message to anybody and everybody who likes geek-related things, superheroes specifically, and just anything fun and good in this world that has violence and, I guess, gory stuff, whatever. Things that are rated R. Go f***ing see Deadpool. So this is my video on why seeing Deadpool in the theaters is so important. You might all be excited for Deadpool. I know I am. I own the first appearance of Deadpool in a freaking comic graded case 9.0. Cost you like over $100 or something. Now it's worth more because the Deadpool movie trailers came out and the video game came out and all that other stuff. But anyway, Deadpool's my favorite superhero. Ever. Is he really a superhero? I don't know. But he's my favorite comic book character. Let's just go with that. And with that, and the trailers to the upcoming movie that comes out in February, which the trailers look fantastic by the way, we have to do a public service to everyone who wants rated R superhero movies to stay around or to even be a thing, because they're not really. If you don't see Deadpool in theaters, that'll ruin our chance of ever getting any other superhero rated R movie possibly ever again, at least for a long time. Do you want to see Wolverine rated R? You probably will never see that anyway, but do you want to? Well, if you don't see this, not gonna happen for sure. So Deadpool's really like the first mainstream rated R superhero movie. If we don't see this, we're never gonna have like a rated R Punisher or... Oh. Oh. Okay, well Punisher was a really bad example because we already tried that three times, but there's other superheroes, other comic book characters that would work great in a freaking rated R setting. And Deadpool's up to the plate, ready to make it happen for everybody, but if we don't go see it, it's not gonna happen. Now, Andre the Black Nerd, if you don't know who that is, which I assume you do, great YouTube channel, check him out. He made a really good point. He had examples of rated R movies that people were raving about, but no one saw. The main example I took away from it was Dread. Everyone raves about Dread, how great Dread is, Dread's the best thing in the world, everyone needs to see Dread. I saw Dread on Netflix, and it was really good. It was actually a really good movie. Didn't see it in theaters though, and neither did you. Don't even lie to me. I know you didn't see it in theaters. Maybe you did, but I'm saying that nobody did. I just don't want that to happen to Deadpool, because he's more mainstream and a superhero than Dread is, obviously. So if we don't go to this rated R superhero movie, then we're not gonna see other rated R superhero movies. Is there even like a good rated R superhero movie besides like Kick-Ass? Kick-Ass is the only one I can think of and that's not really even a superhero movie. It is, it's a comic book movie, whatever. You know what I mean. Kingsman was comic book, Wanted was comic book. Superheroes, kind of, not really. This is a Marvel superhero being rated R in theaters in February, which is not a high point for movies usually, but in February, just go see it, please. It looks great. I mean, I think that all of you would agree that if you're a fan of Deadpool, it looks like what you want. Hopefully it's not so much of like a movie, if that makes sense. Like, if you don't know the character of Deadpool, which I'm sure you do, but if you don't, he's self-aware that he's in a comic book. He always references like, oh, well, I guess since this is my book, I, we might as well do this. And the other heroes that are next to him are like, your book, what are you talking about? I want to see more of that in the movie. You know, I want to see him like trip over the cameraman or as Jeremy John said, grab the boom mic and kill somebody with it. Like that'd be hilarious. For right now, this is like the big gun of you gotta go see this movie or else you're not gonna be able to help the other movies in the future. Does that make sense? Even if you don't like Deadpool, let's say you're more of a DC fan, you don't even care about the Marvel stuff. Seeing Deadpool will help your chances of seeing a DC-based character in a rated R setting as well. Because then other studios, like Warner Brothers, who owns DC, will see that and be like, wow, we can make a rated R superhero movie, and it will be profitable. Let's do that then. Because really up until this point, the only rated R comic book movies that made money were Kick-Ass, kind of, Watchmen, kind of. 300 is really the only one that made money. Isn't that weird? Sin City, I guess. They made money too, sort of, right? Got a sequel. That worked out well. My point is, the only rated R superhero stuff we have at this point that's like happening right now is the Netflix series from Marvel. We have Jessica Jones and Daredevil, both of which are rated R, TV mature. They're both for mature audiences. You know, a lot of blood, a lot of gore, a lot of action that's 
brutal. I think that we need to have more of that. Not everything has to be like that. I'm not saying make a rated R Spider-Man movie. Definitely never do that. I'm just saying that it opens the gate for more superheroes, more comic book characters that you like or that are your favorites that you never thought you'd actually see on a screen because it would have to be rated R. Deadpool's taking that risk. Fox is taking that risk. Thank you, Fox, for doing something amazing. And I just hope the movie's good. That's another point that Andre brought up. The movie has to be good. And I'm totally with that. If the movie's bad, don't give it your money. But if it's good and rated R and a superhero movie, why would you not see that? Because it's just going to help everybody out in the long run. If you support this movie, other studios will see it. They might take a chance on characters that you like more than Deadpool. Or maybe you just love Deadpool and you want to see this movie, which is my case. So hopefully it's good. You better see it. That's pretty much all I have to say. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you liked the video, please like it. If you dislike the video, please dislike it. But don't actually do that. Let me know what you guys have to say. I mean, tell me if you're going to go see the Deadpool movie, if you're excited for it. Tell me another superhero or comic book character that you want to see in a rated R movie. Tell me that below. I'm very curious to learn about other ones that I don't even know about. And I'll see you guys next time.